Hi there, this is Mr. Herman, back to solve another equation. This time it's going to be a uh, one we solve by completing the square. Notice that it's a quadratic equation, and a is equal to 1. In other words, coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. That's going to make this a little bit easier. We'll have a, another example where a is not equal to 1 coming up soon. The first thing we want to do is get the uh, constant term on the other side. So we'll go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides to do that. And when we do that, we get x squared minus 8x. Now, if you remember in class also, I like to leave a little space here, so I just kind of go plus, I leave a space, and then I go equals negative 4. A little space in there. Okay, from here now, we're going to take, and we need to complete the square. We usually do it over the other on the other side over here. So we'll take b, to do that we take b, divided by 2, and square it. In this case, b is negative 8, as you can see right there. So we'll take negative 8, divided by 2, and square it. We, leave, we write the whole thing down, so you can see why in just a minute. You'll see why that isn't a step coming up. So we'll start with the negative 8 divided by 2, which is 4, and then 4 squared is 16. So we get 16 here, and we add 16 here. Then from there, we'll take and simplify both sides a little bit. We'll go ahead and simplify this side here to get x squared minus 8x. Add the 16, and then equals over here, we get 12. Negative 4 plus 16 is 12. Now we need to t t factor this. So we're going to factor this into the two parts it goes into, which in, if you remember back to here, how we do this, we take the x from here. There's going to be two of these. We square it. Really, there's two of them. The x comes from the square root of right here. And then over here we have, up here, if you remember, we have negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. That amount that's inside those parentheses before you square it is what goes right here. And we still have 12 here. Now we use the square root property to take the square root of both sides. Like this. 12 is not a perfect square, so we're going to just go ahead and probably save that till the end and put it in the calculator. This comes out as x minus 4 equals the square root of 12. And then from there we add 4 to both sides to get x equals 4. And remember, this really is a plus and minus here. It's important that you remember that little step. Plus, minus. So we're going to take 4 plus the square root of 12 and 4 minus the square root of 12. So those are our two solutions. Remember, quadratic equations have two solutions. So we'll take 4. I'll put it up here now so you can see a little bit better. So we'll get 4 plus the square root of 12. Oops, sorry, minus there. That should be a plus sign. Make that a nice big plus sign there. There you go. And then we get 4 minus the square root of 12. And if you put those in your calculators, 4 plus the square root of 12 ends up equaling 7.46 approximately. And 4 minus the square root of 12 is approximately 0.54. Those are your two solutions. You should put them back into X to make sure they work. Double check here and here to make sure they work.